things about it, to be honest. Oh, not again. <laughs> oh, no. It's warned me about it. YouTube. It does. It was meant to be a gentle feature about the increasing popularity of magnet fishing. With Nigel Lamford and his friend Dan Moore seeing what they could pull out of the River Nen at Earthlingborough with their powerful magnets. Nigel only recently took up the hobby, but he's already had some unusual finds. We've had a couple of grenades from World War I. Um, they've been controlled explosions by the police. They've come out, closed the road off, and the army comes out and they blow them up. Um, had about three sawn off shotguns, probably from about the 80s, and quite a few hand pistols from the early 20th century. All of those items were handed over to the police. It just becomes very addictive. You find something and you want to find something better all the time. So each throw, something comes out and you think, I want to beat it, I want better, and you just keep going and going. And yeah, it does get very addictive. As the filming continued, Nigel announced his magnet had picked up something heavy. What came out, though, looked rather gruesome. It appeared to be a hand wrapped in cling film attached to a barbell weight. Here you can just about see the tips of the fingers. Not knowing if it was real and not wanting to risk damaging any evidence, Nigel called the police. It may be a hand wrapped in cling film around a weight. They soon arrived and put a cordon in place to close off the bridge. A forensic officer also examined the scene. But after a tense wait, an officer let them know that it was not a real hand. Shocked more than anything, you know, to get that up and see what looks like fingers sticking out of polythene. It's a, yeah, it's a new one on me, I must admit, saying I want to find something better each time. That was not what I was expecting to find. They'd only taken up magnet fishing in October and they wondered if someone had seen them doing it and dropped the hand in as a joke. If it was a prank, sure, they got us, but at the end, of the, it's, it's a very sick prank. It's not very funny, you're wasting police time. It's just sick. But they do plan to continue magnet fishing. So what started as a feature about an unusual hobby and then became a potential crime scene has ended up as a cautionary tale that as a magnet fisherman you might attract the attention of pranksters. Stuart Leith's ITV News, Earthlingborough. <laughs>